Mancho Psycho. Um, I'm just coming up today. I just finished a video with Truth Warrior and I'll copy it and put it on my page when she gets done with it. So I hope you guys are hanging in there. I hope everybody's healthy. Um, so um, we discussed some stuff with her, but I had some stuff I wanted to uh, read with you guys. Um, I want to flag Bloomberg because he was like powerful in my energy. I mean, I could feel like he was significant. Well, I didn't know he was the one that helped finance the 2018 elections. He put a hundred million dollars. He, I know he gave Stacey Abrams a bunch of money. So he's the reason why that helped the Democrats win. So now he's going to back up Bernie and uh, not Bernie, uh, Biden. And, uh, you know, Biden doesn't have that kind of money, so I don't know what he's going to do, but he's going to throw some cash that way. And I think he's going to hit, like, the McConnell area, the Lindsey Graham area, the Devin Nunes area. He's going to hit some people with some cash, you know what I'm saying? Cash talks, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to write him a nice letter and ask him for a million dollars. What do you need it for, Linda? Well, I just thought maybe, you know, I could get myself some vacations and... <laughs> So anyway, uh, God, you guys rock. I've gotten so many, almost as much as being in the basket. If you put your name and your phone number in your request, I, I've also, I've got pages. So I'm going to sit down today and type them all out. I'm also going to put them in the basket. Now, um, what I'm going to do is call you. So if you're available, cool. If you're not, that's fine. We can rearrange. But this is what I figured I'll do because I got so many requests. Now I can't, I'm not doing long readings. I'm doing like, you know, I'm gonna hit somebody and they're gonna say a few words and maybe give you some comfort. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna not add it to the, these videos. I'm gonna do an actual video that is good. I maybe 10 or 11 videos that say talking to the deceased. And it's just be little short clips. Only use your first name, where your location is. And uh, I'll just tape it on here and then I can send it in one video. So I'll go up to 30 minutes and I'll go to the next time. So be patient if you're there. If that if you're not there, don't freak out. But um, I'll, I'll give you the number and you guys, you can call me back and we'll hit you up again. Okay, so then I gave away the Thomas John tickets. Um, I was trying to give it to somebody else and their phone was busy for six hours. So I don't know if their phone didn't even work. I was started off, I had to take my car into the dealership, you know, for its baby checkup. And uh, I was calling from there till I got home and I really just needed, so many people were writing. So then I picked another name and I gave this person, uh, it's actually her son, um, the ticket. So uh, anyway, so that's taken care of. Okay. So, um, okay. So the, the, in the basket, put me in the basket is huge, you guys. And please, can I do a, you know, a short read me, read me live. It's okay. It's not really going to be live. It's going to be tape, but and then I'll put you on a, on the, depending on the reading, you know, maybe the reading sucks. No, <laughs> I don't have too many readings that sucks, but I'm not here to, this is technically a real short connecting with your loved one video. It's not going to be about, will I meet the new guy? Will I get a car by Tuesday? Uh, will my hemorrhoids ever go away? Nothing like that. Okay. So, so I want to mention my friend, um, and also Milu and I will be doing a co collaboration. I just did Truth Warrior, so hers will be out. Milu and I, I think it's March 10th. And um, my friend Dan, who helps me with my videos, he had told me that uh, 
his mother's like 84 or something like that. And uh, she had a vision and he told me this several weeks ago. And he said, Linda, um, my mom had a vision that she saw um, Biden being sworn in as president. Do you think that could possibly happen? And um, I said, she's, you know, I, I don't know. I'll have, for some reason, I wasn't quite picking up exactly who was going to win. It was never a, a woman. It was always a man. And then um, he said, he talked to her recently and said, isn't that funny? Because some of you guys write me about your dreams and are so cool. But he said, then she had a dream that Biden was taking the oath and Bloomberg was standing next to him, with him. And, and that made sense because if Biden wins, Bloomberg will be the, one of the reasons he won. So, uh, because he's helping him finance it. Now, Bernie's saying, um, if Bernie comes up, I'm voting for Bernie. I don't care who it is. Just get Trump out of office. But it's interesting how Trump is so, oh, poor Bernie. They're screwing with Bernie, Bernie, this. Uh, you know what? Bernie doesn't want his help. But I will tell you that he wants Bernie because he thinks he could beat him. If Bernie wins, Trump will not beat him. I can guarantee you. Trump. Part of the reason people came out a thousandfold, it's not just the black community. And by the way, this can't be the establishment when it's the black community that helped bring Biden forward. Okay. The, and the middle of the, of the road Republicans who don't want, they weren't going to vote for Bernie, but they didn't want Trump are feeling comfortable now because there's a lot of people that I talked to who said, you know, I did vote for him. I wished I hadn't. But I'm not going to vote for him again. I would vote. If Biden's the one that comes up, I will vote for him. Sorry, the dogs are playing with their toy. So, um, but the establishment can't be the black. I mean, somebody even on the news said, are you calling blacks in the South establishment? But anyway, and then there was a new commercial came out that he claiming that Biden wants to cut Social Security. And I, that scared me. Like, what? Are you serious? And uh, so I go look up and then they were showing the documentation and his interviews. Nope, maybe he did this years ago. He voted against Social Security, but he's not doing it now. He wants to up the amount paid to Social Security. And there's a bunch of stuff. Just look it up. Go under his thing. So um, um, th that hurts me when, when they're going to say things that aren't true. Uh, and also, you know, I heard that Bernie <laughs> voted against gun control. But, you know, I'm not going to take all that to the bank because this could have been something he voted on. Here, a lot of times when they bring in bills, they're adding crap to it. Maybe he didn't agree with something they were adding to it. So I'm not going to hold Bernie to that either because I believe he's for gun control now. So um, Bernie's vision is absolutely fantastic. I worry about Biden. Same thing, different day. But I feel he's going to pick a fantastic VP. Um, and I don't know what that is, but I can just tell you it's going to rock. Okay. But a lot of people voted also for Biden. My guides told me this because they were furious at Trump picking on Biden. They just, it was like, you know what? F you, you were, you were impeached and, and now you, um, we're going to make you run against the man you, you tried to destroy. I don't know why that is. I'm even feeling like Trump can't debate Biden. He, cause if he brings up that crap, we're going to talk about Kushner and Bernie. He can't debate Bernie. Bernie will tell him off every which way. They will have so much facts ripping off, uh, uh, children's stuff. You know, don't you dare go there. Cause guess what, dude? Biden gets a little more upset. Bernie can focus, but uh, I'm almost feeling like he's going to say, I'm not going to do it. No. And he actually is going to think his people are going to stand up for him and it's okay. So it's like, really? It's okay. I'm going to win because I'm fantastic. And that's how it is. And keep thinking that, dude, because, yep. Yep. Keep thinking that. Okay, so but we still have a ways to go. Everything's not in, you know what I'm saying? But I don't mind either choice. I'm not saying, oh, 
I'm not saying, please, God, don't let Bernie win because then we're going to lose the election. That is not true. That I can tell you. That I can tell you. Bernie, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Duck will win at this point. Donald, I mean, that's how bad. His people love him, yes. But did you see on the news that that they, that more less Democrats are registered now? Not too many people are becoming Democrats. There's more independents out there. It's like catching up. Yeah. We're going to rock, you guys. Okay. So, I wanted to ask about Justice Roberts because he... Uh, he also told Trump off, remember, he said, uh, you know, justices aren't about Republicans or Democrats. But Justice Roberts, so he told off Schumer. And I think Schumer was a little over, and Schumer needs to apologize. He needs to say apology. I don't know if he did. He's pissed, but he needs to say, you know what? But also remember, this president said that two of your justices should be impeached. And yet you say nothing. So, Justice Roberts. How is Justice Roberts feeling? He got some slide back on that. I see that. He's pissed. <laughs> I see Schumer sending him a letter. Uh, he'll say apologies, but you know what? You need to consider who this per person in office. Because Roberts watched all that. Yeah, it's causing Roberts a lot of stress. You know, he'll still protect his people, but it's interesting. He wouldn't protect um, Ruth and the other one. He wouldn't protect them. He didn't say, how dare you talk about them getting impeached. Mr. President, you don't need to talk. No, he just. He lets Trump get away with stuff. So um, he can't be bought, though. That I'll tell you about this, Justice. He can't be bought. So um, he's tired of all this. He's tired of all this drama. So he's the type that would say, you know what? We need to get rid of this putz in office. I don't think he would vote for Trump. I really don't. Tell me what I what these justices are going to vote on with um the abortion. Are they going to vote to make doctors be registered at a hospital? Yes or no? They're not saying you can't have abortion. They're just saying that the doctors need to be registered at a hospital. Which is just trying to make it more difficult for women. Now, let me tell you, Schumer wasn't kidding. If they vote yes on this, People, women will, girl, women are coming up in arms and they're going to say, get the hell out of my business. I really do feel it. There's less religious people out there than not. And I just think people should have the option of um, choosing. Women need to choose because they don't get the men. I was divorced and my ex-husband took off for three years, didn't pay me a dime, didn't help me with the, my child. So, you know, he, he can do what he wants. But, you know, meantime, it's up to me to take care of everything. Um, in fact, I've always, even with my two sons, it's been me, mostly. Okay, so what can you tell me? I really don't want abortion used as a method of birth control. It's really bad for your body. But I think if you're in a position that it's really going to be devastating... But I really, it's not, I just, I think it should still be available. But I think they really need to counsel people and tell them, you know, to really look at their options. Um, there was a lot of women used to kill themselves in the, my nursing days. Not my nursing days, but there was a hospital called Fairmount Hospital where they used to train the doctors and the nurses and the doctors fooled around with the nurses. And if they ended up pregnant, too bad, you were kicked out. And a lot of them killed themselves, hung themselves. But in the meantime, the guy can do whatever he wants. He can, doesn't have to pay child support. You know, the reason they changed the law on uh, women with children, you can't just get a divorce now. A, you have to go through the system, through the uh, 
the family system to, for a decision on kids. Because in the old days, a guy would say, oh, just sign on the dotted line. Like you can't have two, you can't have one attorney representing you if you have children. It has to be decided by the judge. Because in the old days, guys would say, oh yeah, sign here. And don't worry, I'll help take care of the kids. And as soon as she signed on the dotted line, he was gone. Yes or no? People are upset about this. So do you, justice is reversed. So it, it, is justice reversed because they vote yes to this particular restriction and people are going to hit the fans? Heartbreak is here. But heartbreak could be here also if people, if they say no and they'll be like, what? No, you know, these self-righteous type. I see a woman giving a good desertion or whatever they call it. Somebody's talking and, and really talking to Justice Roberts. Justice Roberts is saying no. I just saw him sitting down. I see that um, he has to go by the law. And the law is, it's legal to have abortions. And he does look at it as a way to try to hurt people. So does Justice Robert say no to this particular? It's going to be hard on him. Does Justice Robert say no? Yeah, he's walking away from it. I think he says no, you guys. I think he walks away. I think people are pissed off at him, but he says no, just like he's going to do for the... Um, for the, the taxes. Now, not all the tax things are going to be carte blanche, but there's a particular, some particular ones that are gonna really be happening. <laughs> oh, sorry. So anyway, Justice Roberts. Okay, now, um, we got on the abortion thing and we did, did see that he may turn around and say no. He, there's a lot of strife cards there. So I would assume he'd say no because he's under so much strife or maybe he has to say yes and it, he's under strife for that. But it, the outcome card was he, him walking away. So it, I would say he's going to say no, you know. No, and let's move on. Justice Roberts is thinking about leaving. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I, I They're giving me hits, you guys. They're telling me that Justice Roberts is thinking about leaving. Okay, Justice Roberts. And he doesn't feel good. He feels like, and remember I told you Thomas isn't doing well either. Oh, poor Ruth. She's just hanging in there. <laughs> okay. He talked to Ruth and the other, Soto, Soto, whatever her name is. He talked to them. And told them, because remember they said the president needs to not deal with, <laughs> not deal with important business. Like you guys got it. But in the meantime, Justice Thomas' wife can give Trump a list, the list of whoever's working against him. Okay, so now we did Justice Roberts. We did abortion. Now, um, what are you guys, where are we going to go? You, you've sent me, I'm getting so many, I want a reading that I can't get to my questions. So, um, I'm looking around, oh, Pompeo, let's check out, I don't know why they gave me Pompeo. Thank you guys. What do you want me to tell everybody about Pompeo? <laughs> that can't be my guides. That can't be my guides or they've got a really good sense of humor. Someone just said, he's a putz. That's what we want you to know. Pompeo's writing all these religious things on Twitter, excerpts from the Bible, and he is underhanded, low rent, a liar. You know, he's not in the good tidings with the other side. And he doesn't even see it. That's the problem with this administration. The blind leading the blind. And everybody's so scared to death about 
of, you know, hurting the master at, at, in arms. They really, really, and I see a lot of them not wanting to give Trump bad news because they're scared to death. What do you want to tell me about Pompeo? Oh, so they thought they were all cool with that Taliban thing. Taliban turned around and bombed right after that. So, yeah. Yeah, um, it, yeah, I think pretty soon, because this is a March card coming up here. I think pretty soon Pompeo is like under a lot of struggle. And he's trying to collaborate or figure things out. He's sitting here broken hearted and he's trying, he's feeling like a, he, energetically, he's trying to start from square one. He's not able to talk through it. He's not able to, uh, I don't know what he's done, but something's coming out. I'll tell you what, too, that Mulvaney, he got out by the, he was going to get fired. And I don't know how he was able to stick it out. He might have begged. But, oh, my God, these guys, why are you hugging on Trump? He's going to ruin you. Okay, so let's take a look, see, at the Trump administration. Oh, and I know what I wanted to ask. I want to ask if Sessions will win. I hate to say this. I hope he does. Wouldn't that piss Trump off? <laughs> oh, anyway. Okay. Trump has to be careful because a lot of what goes around comes around. How is this administration doing right now? Is there something you want me to know? I just saw marching, like people gathering up signs and saying, F you. People are very angry. Something's coming up that they're going to be really, really angry. I don't know if it's more people getting sick and, and they, they laxadilled on this, but it's like people, I see people gathering up. Um, yeah, Trump is reverse. This is my Trump card, by the way. Okay, and he's trying to offer some peace offering. But he's barking at the moon because bad news is coming, my friend. Bad news is coming. <laughs> Oops. Oops. So he's in a battle and he's, it's, and you know what? I almost feel, do you remember how he told everybody if, if I lose, I'm, you'll never see me again? He means that. Because it, with this card, it's like he gathers up his crap off the war zone and he just disappears. He'll come back on Twitter and stuff and try to write. But Twitter, now that he's no longer president, may get rid of him. If he tries to start a lot of drama, some sort of a, a war. And I see people saying, we're, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. There will be gun control, but it's about, it's about, uh, it's not about ending people's Second Amendments. Never was about that. It's about just making sure people get background checks. Or you will all die with the gun in my hand. And it's like, dude, we're not talking about you can't have a gun. We're talking about just a background check. So, um, and sometimes that won't protect us. But, you know, I believe in you, you should have the right to protect your property. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to end here and um, I'm going to sure have more stuff to talk about. Wait, tomorrow's Friday. I don't think I'll be able to see you Friday but I, or Saturday, but Sunday. Okay. And then I'll get those um, talking to the dead stuff going. Okay, you guys, love you both. Oh, love you both. <laughs> love you all. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.